So I'm back at this uh, ductwork nightmare problem that has always been a problem for these guys and I'm tired of uh, band-aiding and jerry-rigging this shit that was set up by somebody. I'm going to drop in the phone. But here's the situation. So the courier unit on top is a 5-ton package unit, 13 sear unit on the roof. I downloaded the manual for installation. I downloaded the specs for filter returns and airflow and everything like that. And it turns out the minimum size return for that five ton courier unit on the roof. This, has, this is a, a zone system. It's three room zone. They have two rooms going at one time or one room uh, going at one time. So it's zone running two small rooms or one big room. So the minimum size filter return for the single room is 36 inches by 24 inches. And what do they have in the single room? 14 by 25. So it's like getting an athlete and putting a plastic bag over his head and then sticking a straw in his mouth and say, okay, compete against the other competitors. So since this is one of the rooms that is two returns on a zone system, I'm gonna put in 25 by 25 by 2 and I didn't even want a Merv 8. This is a Merv 8. I wanted like a Merv 1. I wanted something that you can drive a horse through. I wanted hair airflow. Uh, but this was the highest flow, least filtering that they had at the supply house. So that's what I got right now. So this is zone 1. This room here and this room here is zone 1. So I'm replacing both these little itty bitty 14 by 24s with 25 by 25s and ooh, I'm gonna have a little problem right there. Um, so those are gonna get replaced. And then later, the single zone, this is room one and that's zone one and only has one return. And that one return is gonna get increased to a 36 by 25. It's gonna be correct when I'm finished. And I'm gonna use hard ducting on the 90s. So coming up here, I, I'm just tired of working behind these guys who have 20, 30 years more experience than I do. And they cheap bid stuff and they're the fastest. And I'm not going to adjust or band-aid it or jerry-rig around it. It's getting fixed. So here's how it works. Let's see. Where is my, look at this monstrosity. Look, look at your shit. Look at the kinks in here and shit like that. This, this is what I'm working with. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna see if I could get some hard ducting and I'm gonna get some elbows. I'm gonna see if it's possible. I'm gonna try to come down at a 45 and a 45. I'm gonna see if I could do two, I don't want, I'm trying to stay away from 90s. You cannot come out of directly in the box. Look how small the box is. This is just fucking stupid. This guy who set this up is the biggest fucking moron on earth. And uh, sorry guys for the language, but this shit gotta go. And uh, I don't think, I'm not gonna go that far. But I am gonna fix this and I'm gonna try to make it slightly slope. I'm gonna get rid of this massive kink because I know the smallest diameter is between this point right here and see how it's sloped over and this point right there so I need to open this up I need large uh, sweeps you know just like your copper you have the long sweep and then you have the hard little 90s so we're gonna try to do long sweeps to go into here to increase this airflow and uh, Oh shit, I just noticed this is how they have this shit. Look at this. Check this out. So, here's your return. Or, or no, here's your supply. So on this, on the supply, you're coming like kinked here. Kinked like shit here. Check this out. You dumb mofo. Then, you look at this 180. You're coming around in a 180. And then you're trying to, this is the supply for a whole room. One, uh, where is it? It's under my foot, it's right here. One, two, and then there's three and four somewhere over there on the other side, coming off this right here. Yeah, this goes off and it branches off to three and four. 
but you you can't make air flow like that. That that shit just doesn't work, people. Come on, you guys, you fucking flex stuff maniacs. Um, so I'm gonna do the best I can to alleviate that. And the only way I could think of looking at this the way this is, see, they have a zone system here, but they have this hard 180 right there, all kinked up, coming back to feed this room. I guess I'm gonna have to feed off here and split it right here. And that'll feed a zone going off in that direction. It's neck down right there, that's just stupid shit. Uh, and then I'll come down here and I think I'm gonna have to put it into a Y somewhere out here and go directly into the zone right there where this is actually too small for supplying these four registers for this one room. That was just dumb shit. Um, but this is what they have. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to increase the flow out, increase the flow back, and uh, fix this one by one, room by room. They have the rooms cleared down, so this is the time I could take out and I can finally fix this after being here over a year of coming back here. They're having z continuous zoning problems and, um, and airflow issues. And I just, you know, you can't take your, your if you need your superheat or subcool with this kind of airflow problem you just you're taking measurements but the measurements you're taking are all wrong and you're compensating for jackass half-ass installation and whatever you do will always be wrong so let's try to make this jackass into a racehorse <laughs> good luck with that all right guys i'll see you this is uh the daily life of uh hackery see you